Hi guys, welcome to Matt Bajewski Crystal's channel. It's a beautiful day. Sorry I haven't made a video uh, sooner, but I've been so busy working on all my crystals and um, uploading some of them to my website. I've got so many crystals I'm working on at the moment. So many beautiful crystals. There's some agates in here. Um, this is, um, oh yeah, some more agates there. What have we got here? Uh, Lizardite here. Oh my goodness. Black tourmaline in here. And this is uh, zebra, jasper, and so on. I've got so, so much going on at the moment. Come a bit closer. How are you all doing, guys? Are you okay? Oh, lovely to see you. I look a bit of a scruff, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, around my neck is uh, a Moldavite, probably the same size as the first Moldavite I ever uh, was gifted uh, from my first mentor. And I placed it in my hand and kind of was blown away by its energy. It was like I'd never felt anything like that. And I'd only just started working with crystals. The crystal that I had when I was working at the shows, at the Mind, Body and Spirit shows as a psychic and a healer was, uh, if I remember rightly, a big ball and it was made of um, rainbow moonstone and it was so mystical so mystical and so beautiful i've always loved um moonstone there's just something so beautiful about it but yeah sandra said to me come over here come over here because i just had a little break and i was just having something to eat i mean like one after another readings it was like and and yeah she said okay close your eyes so i closed my eyes and she said hold your hand out and she put this crystal and she said just just feel now and I closed my eyes and I went just took a few breaths and then I went wow and I could literally feel my body lifting through the air slowly I was levitating and I quickly opened my eyes and went, what the hell is that and she said I knew it and uh, and that was it it was the start of um, um, a relationship that 16 years on um, I've handled tens of thousands of Moldavites and uh, I guess uh, I've got a few Moldavites here I can show you just give me a second so as you know um, once a year I kind of work really hard and save my money up to be able to invest in Moldavites um, from my, my company, MattBioski.com. And I have a few amazing uh, people who work um, in that industry and also people who dig and, and so on. So I get them from the source, really. So um, here's one. It's a beauty. And I have a bag here of a few more that I'm working on and starting working on today of Moldavites um, from little, little tiny ones, but, you know, handpicked the, the real beauties. So every one that you see, I've spent a long time choosing and looking at. And uh, I'll just show you, look. I mean, from my angle, it's incredible because it's just gorgeous. This one. So after I've worked on this, I'm going to have it mounted in a lovely mountain. And then it'll probably go onto my website after I've worked with it. Here's another beauty. See that? So in the light, it just glows. These are called hedgehogs. I don't particularly like the name hedgehog, but people call it that. This is beautiful. 
beauty for organism. And that, imagine that hanging there. Just absolute, and the energy when you touch it is just incredible. I was going through um, the crystals and in, in Germany and when I was going through them, it was really interesting because my heart was palpitating. It was like banging like crazy to a degree that I really, really had to stop. And I, I was taken aback by it. It was just so powerful. Oh, you'll love this one. This is just beautiful. The colors in this is just divine. It's hard to see, but from my angle looking over there, it's incredible, the colors of this one. It's like a little coffee bean. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, this one's gorgeous. This is called a teardrop. Look at that one. It's just so beautiful. So, um, the teardrop basically is when, um, imagine there's another teardrop at this side, okay? So it, will, it would look like that, like a dog bone. When it's hurling through the sky, it, it, it revolves, it re rotates, and as it rotates, it pushes out into this dog bone type. So in, in theory, this crystal should have, this is where it broke, and it should have carried on and looked exactly the same at that side. Now, to Moldavite um, buyers who are not really interested in the in the energy of them, but in the shape of them, are always looking for a dog uh, bone type shape. That is the true um, essence of Moldavite as a meteorite. What they're looking for as a specimen, just so you know. Um, yeah, look at this one, this is just incredible, I go, I, I go into a different place when I start touching Moldavite, as you can see, I'm going more, sort of, because it's so powerful, that is a very beautiful specimen, I'm going to see if I can show you what it looks like to me when I turn it, turn it this way. Can you see now? See what I mean? So when we're this way, it's very hard to see. See, because it looks darker, but when the sun shines, you can see inside it, you can see the cloud formations, all the different beautiful colors and intricateness, and you can feel the power of it. So the, that's why I'm calling my book The Power of Moldavite because it's so special. So let's go back to, um, uh, where are we? Hmm. Where, what did I do with it? Oh, it's there. Okay, so here we go. This little piece. How do, you, how do we use a little piece of uh, Moldavite? The third eye and this beautiful piece is like um, a blasting of energy. And when you place it on your third eye, and your third eye can be anywhere from here up to here, okay? So you can place it anywhere on there. But as you rub, this is, this is something that I do. See, I'm not particularly um, somebody who reads books and, and watches videos and listens to other gurus because I, I'm more of a somebody who's fascinated in feeling myself. I don't follow like a sheep. I, I have to feel or else, you know, I, okay, I do take instructions, but I like to try and experiment. And I, I have always said to you and hopefully through these next videos and these next few years that we work together with crystals that eventually you'll say okay thanks mark but i'm going to try it my way that's when i'll have more respect for you than just following what i'm saying so what i did here just then was i went up and down okay 
And the reason why I sort of go up and down is because I'm trying to find my what's called PowerPoint or some people call it third eye, okay? It's, it, and, and when I'm looking for it, what normally happens is the Moldavite is trying to activate or enhance or help me see and feel. And if there's a point where I feel I just need like, so now, okay, so I'm here now and I felt something really powerful and hurt, it hurt. Power doesn't mean always happiness and magic. It means sometimes it can be hurt, it can hurt. And I felt something shoot straight into the back of my head. And, and now I'm holding it there. So this is where I'm going to keep it. So is my third eye here or is it here? I don't know. But it feels that I want to put this crystal just here, this Moldavite. And this feels good. So now my head's feeling lighter. It feels light. Something's happening in its own unique way. I'm not thinking about anything. I'm not trying to visualize anything. I'm not using my tongue up here. I'm not breathing any differently. All of those things are beautiful, but I'm actually just being aware of what's happening. I'm allowing the Moldavite to do whatever it does. And I'm just being aware. I'm, I'm stepping away from it and watching and feeling what's going on. So, I'm kind of listening on a spiritual sense. Now, in a piece, of course, I'm working with a lot of Moldavites there, so I'm finding I get I get very sleepy, I'm very tired, and and my body is relaxing with Moldavite, always does, um, especially when I've got a lot of pieces around me. And then what happens is I get this palpitation, my heart starts beating faster and faster, and then I go into an energetic mode. So I, I kind of know a lot of the times when I'm around true Moldavite. Uh, when you're around fake Moldavite, you don't get them sensations. So now what's happening is the energy is shifting across my head to here, but it's also affecting uh, right in the center of here, which is the um, uh, pineal gland. And I can feel a sense of awakening or an awareness. I'm feeling like I'm coming to life now. So from feeling tired, like I said, I did. Now I'm starting to feel energetic. And I, I'm hoping you're able to watch this video and see the shift in me as I'm speaking and telling you my truth, my feelings. So it's not like, oh, stick it there and this should happen. Oh, do this and put it there for four seconds and then that. No, I don't buy into that. I buy into that you are a beautiful individual and your energy is completely different from mine. What you feel from me is going to be completely different. And what you need to heal or strengthen or to, to, to grow from is going to be different. So I ask you, Play around with your Moldavite around here, around your third eye, and see where your senses take you. If there's any different shift in when you're moving it slowly, oh, I felt something then. That's where you should stay. That's the point where something is, is taking place. Even if you don't feel something and you lay down and lay the Moldavite on here, it will spread and, and work its magic. So you don't really need to do too much with Moldavite. Now, the other place you can use Moldavite, I always find, is the palm. And you close your hand and you go into meditation. So when I say close my hand, not tight, more like that. So then I will put my hand down on my knee and then maybe cup it, just cup it like that. So I'm feeling the Moldavite. But again, not necessary. Once it's on you, it will do its work. I hope you've got your Moldavite tool and working with it. There's an eagle flying. There's two eagles. I'm going to show you. Three. Good sign. See, it might sound a bit weird and you're thinking, what's he doing now? But you know, you've got to see the signs. The signs are always around you. 
you know, what does that mean? Three, three birds in the sky around just flying. What does it mean? Well, let's try and ask, shall we? Let's see what three birds means. So how do we find that sign? What does it mean? Okay, let's try. I'm going to try and talk through that sign and see what I get. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you for showing me the signs. Thank you for allowing me to see what I would not normally see. Thank you for the Moldavite giving me the inspiration to be able to see beyond the beyond. Three birds in the sky, I see them as black. The color of black relates to moving forward in a way that I cannot see, but I trust. Black is the color of change. It means it's time for me to change, to move forward, to fly high and free, not to be trapped, not to feel imprisoned, not to feel like I have to be anywhere at any given moment, never taking orders or being told what to do or being held back by other people's sadnesses, weaknesses and fears, being free to be able to go wherever I want to go. So I see the black birds flying in a circle. It means be careful. Don't keep going back to the same thing. Don't keep doing the same thing. If you keep doing the same thing, you will only ever be in that very place, stuck in circle. Keep going in circles, in circles. Break free from this, break free. Three is the number that I see as really important. I always sit up when I see three. Three is a symbol to me of power. Three is the connection of both Mother Earth, myself and the universe. It means I am aligned. I am now ready to move forward in a greater and more powerful state listening to my heart, listening to spirit and feeling Mother Earth on my feet. Being balanced is so important. So I walk now in balance. I will listen, I will feel, I will channel. Okay, so that's what I got from the birds which have now gone they've gone disappeared gone okay so that's it's great because you're watching this video because this video helps you without even realizing this video has taught us today and i guess i'm gonna now use as the um the um what i normally say in in the start of the video is that how we see our signs and how to work the signs out. Well, we've just done that. We've just done it. And it was a natural thing. I didn't need to make the video and then do it. The video made itself and we have now created how to do it. So hopefully I've shown you in a, a very easy way and in a way of natural, a natural way, working with crystals, we can see our signs. So yeah, the headline to this video will working with crystals and seeing our signs. So I didn't make the video, the video made itself. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that great? So I'd like to ask you all a question, guys. And that question is this. What did you see with those three blackbirds that made you feel or think differently from me? What did those birds represent to you? in your unique path and journey. What did you feel when you were connecting to those birds and you closed your eyes and you thought about what those birds represented to you? Because the truth is, my representation was for me, but what was your representation? You may feel everything that I said was perfect for you and that's okay. That means that what I was saying was, was on the same energy as you but some people will say that it, it felt differently to me and this is what it felt to me please write that down underneath here okay um i'm gonna give away uh, five of these today okay what i'd like you to um 
right down under here, I'll choose five people, is bonsai. Just need to say bonsai. And I'll choose, uh, the reason why is because I've got four bonsai trees out there. <laughs> well, three, one's dead now. <laughs> Gonna get it back to life. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, have a great day, and uh, look forward to talking you to, talking to you tomorrow. Thank you for going to mattbyerski.com and buying your genuine, beautiful crystals, and um, moldavites and all the rest on there. Thank you. I loved working with them, and I love working with them every day. I hope you enjoyed a few of the moldavites I showed you today. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.